Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hamerick. And in the last episode, we used Hamerick's powers to gather the materials that we need to get the lioness out of Jelena's uh, cellar. She looks all kinds of happy, doesn't she? Um, before we go and talk to her, however, let's go ahead and see if Hamerick's mother has anything new to say. Well, pretty much it. Just some hints. Okay. Are you here to take the murder cat? Uh, no, Jelena. I failed you. I, I need one more thing. A draft so potent that it can put a two-ton elephant to sleep. I can't find it. I failed you. Oh, you mean two-ton tonic? I keep a bottle on the top shelf. People drink that? Of course, it's gone now. It figures that the last thing I needed to remove a carnivorous beast from my basement was destroyed by you. There must be something left. What part of it's all gone don't you understand? The recipe is the only thing left. Eat that for all I care. A recipe? Yes. Uh, come, I have an idea. We get the item from the uh, recipe book. Yes, indeed. In spring, Hamrick had a scythe ready. He knew the seeds would sprout in fertile soil and wait for the rain. Alright. So, I would assume that we need to use the seeds first in the soil? And rain? He could use fertilizer or poisonous fungus to make them grow. Maybe fertilizer? Oh, yes indeed. Maybe grab the scythe. Figure we could just pick them off the tree like that. Ah! Very cool. Being careful all the same, the swarm of locusts would eat all of them while Jelena watched. Ooh. Oh! <coughs> that was a powerful swarm of locusts. Okay. So, um... Let's do... Uh oh I am... There, I got stuck there. Seeds in the soil. Make it rain. Fertilizer. I have an idea about what to do here, but... We've got the poisonous fungus. And we've got the swarm of locusts. Oh! Alright, so that didn't work. So I think what we're going to need to do... ...is we'll gather the seeds, alright? We'll put them... ...in the soil. Get the rain to make it grow. Now we'll use the fungus... ...and use that instead of the fertilizer on the plant. Red means dead. Grab the scythe. Go ahead and harvest these. And then maybe throw these at the locusts. And then the poisonous fungus will kill them. Aha! Good stuff. Now I think we may have to go back and... ...grab the seeds. ...and do the process without having <laughs> one of the ten plagues of Egypt bother us. At least it kept on raining. There we are. That's what we needed. At least that's the first part of the recipe. We're gonna have to get the rest. 
This would be a really cool power to have. Imagine the kind of books that you could jump into and actually create stuff out of. With Vikings close by, he had to hurry. Oh. Scythe in hand, the harvest was ready. That is a big Viking. But it had to be mixed with water in the pools. Later crushed in the grinder. Heated in the oven. Again mixed with more water. Crushed. And finally fermented with hops. He had to do it fast before the Viking locals attacked. And that Viking is so going to kill me. Oh! So it's a race. Yep, that it is. Let's see if we can. Nope. Oh. Well, that happened. Alright, Scythe. Harvest. Had to be mixed with water. Crushed in the gr oh, okay, the scythe was a red herring. Heated in the oven. Again mixed with more water. Okay, I think I got it, though. Took a little bit of chin music. And finally fermented with hops. Okay, I'm not sure... Okay, can we run back? Oh, nope. Huh. And we're so dead. Alright, come on. So we grab harvest. Yeah, we have got to... Speed is of the essence here. Back, back, back. Mixed with more water. Oh, crushed. Oh. Okay, maybe. Like that? Hmm. Yeah, there's no way to go about that. So we grab the harvest. I guess it has to be crushed in the grinder again. But I'm not sure how to get back there. Ah, okay, that's what we do. Just gotta remember. <laughs> Aha! And I'm not sure, do we have to do this again? Nope! We put it in the grinder. And fermented. There we go. He had to do it fast before the Viking locals attacked. There you go. Yourself nice and glug lugged. Now, is that good? Is that enough? Because I don't know if we actually have to leave the book with the materials. Hey, there we go. Jelena, you were magnificent. How did you do that? Oh man, you must have had... Ooh, if you're still throwing up after all that. Man, look at all the fun that we had in here. Now, here is the young lioness that sees Hamrick as a perpetual source of food.
The lioness was still eating her prey, so Hamrick slipped in the two-ton tonic to knock her out. He slipped the iron collar over her dozing head. Safe behind bars made of sheria wood, she drifted. But a lioness never takes easily to a cage. With the last of her will, she launched herself up and grabbed a bite of Hamrick's arm. Pain shot through Hamrick as he wished it gone, and his arm soon returned. What mystery lay in this book? As he... <laughs> as he opened the pages, he wished for the lioness to stay safe inside. And in that moment, the sheria wood broke, and the lioness was absorbed into its glowing light. I thought I tore a putty tat. Alright, so we got a lioness in the book. Cool. Guess it's kind of like the flask from Little Nicky. That guy is gonna fall over the edge! Hold on, sir! I'll save you! Oh! Well then. I guess he is very much dead. Sorry, sir. Oh, that's cool looking visual. Apparently that was a bad jester. What do we- oh! Never mind. Let's fall in after this guy. Is that bad? Alright, so he is definitely not among the living. You've got a good, strong head on you, sir. You should be proud. This must be the Twisted Tunnels. Mom always told me there were goblins living here that like to wear the bones of their prey. I gotta find a way out fast. Here? Oh! This path goes farther than I expected. It must lead all the way to the royal city Tilton where King Uldolf and Prince Leofric live. What do I do here? Do I jump? Nope. Oh. I'm being pulled up. Probably from the- oh, the well! From, uh, that one guy is gonna save us. You're not water. I need water. There you are. Come quick. What's wrong? Baldwin is about to be hung in the town square. Oh, I almost did the same voice. Whoops. Baldwin's about to be hung in the town square. The word warrior Algernon has charged him with the murder of Murdoch, and the penalty's death. They've got the wrong man! I have to stop this. Well, why are there troops outside my mom's house? No one can escape the king's justice. Uh-oh. Oh, everything's on lockdown. Save Baldwin. The sooner we slaughter the rebel swine, the sooner we can return to the royal city. What did you say? Not like we're on a time limit or anything. If you were all as smart as me, you'd be getting rich. I make a profit scalping the hair from decapitated heads. You mean the bald one? What? There you go. And that's why they're in the posi position they're in. I bet you ten gold pieces he cries. The big ones always cry. Let's hope they found a sharp blade in this town. I hate when it gets messy. Oh dear. In the sudden scene of Kip Baldwin Little, the King's Justice has reached a verdict on the following charges. For the gathering and assembly to overthrow King Uldolf, guilty. For slander against the royal court on Unification Day, guilty. For feeding anchovies to the royal polar bear, Guilty. And finally, for the treasonous murder of the word warrior Murdoch, we find you guilty. What? I'm just an animal lover, not a murderer. I already told you, you've got the wrong man. Oh, that is... Okay. Uh, stop! And who are you? Our hero! Save Baldwin! People seem to think you're a great warrior. Get away from here, kid, before they all catch on. I wish I could, but I can't while you keep Baldwin. He's innocent. I killed Murdoch. Get lost. We're looking for a great warrior. I can squash you under my boot. 
Sir, I know it's hard to believe, but I can't let you kill a man for my crime. That's it. I'm arresting you for the high crime of getting in my face. They're gonna eat you whole at the prison. Whoa! Oh, hello there, Lioness. Masamba, there you are. How many times must I tell you soldiers are not snacks? Masamba? Is that your name? Don't bother learning it. Dead men don't use names. Oh, it's boss fight time. Oh! He had a cannon and a torch to... L oh, it's a mech. It's like Voltron. He had a cannon and a torch to light it, and a shield close by. A shield would be nice. Ah! Oh dear. Okay, there we go. And cannon, I forgot that that drops like so. And a torch to light it. Man, this is tense. This was his second time facing the dragon, and those shields helped. He could use his crossbow and arrows, of course, but they weren't as strong as the cannonball. Oh, we need a cannonball. There we go. Oh, we're slow while we have the cannonball. That makes sense. Okay. Shield is our friend. Head back here. Oh, here comes the... Falling fire. Okay. And a torch. Oh. Quickly. Okay, we need the shields up here. Okay, RT to aim. There we go. That's what we needed. Now, one... A stiff wind's gonna kill us at this rate. Ow. Or almost. There we go. But we know what to do now. So let's get those shields. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, I have to say. Okay, no crossbow and arrows. Don't care. It's cannonball times. Just gotta watch the fire. There we go. Oh, here it comes down. Right down death from above. And torch. One, two. Ow. Loose the cannon. Oh, almost. That could have been really bad. I like the music. Suitably. There we go. Much better. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Cooking with cannons. Oh, need the shields back up. Oh, we only have one shield now? That's not nice. I'm not sure if this is going to be the best place. Yeah, we're about to get set on fire in a horrible way. There we go. We're kind of just going into phase two.
All right, we're out of cannonballs. Now we need to, whoa. I guess we could have just used the, oh dear. So then he goes far away. Okay, we'll go ahead and skip the intro there. We kind of know what we got to do. We got to use this dash a little bit better. So, must make sure that the cannonballs, we use them wisely. Because I guess with these three, we could just go ahead and move on to uh, just using the crossbow and arrows. Okay, cannon times. Ow. I knew we I knew we were gonna get a hit there. Okay, that's one hit. Loose! Oh, we're out of cannonballs. Void, what decides when the cannonballs actually get used, though? That's the... Two, three, four... I guess it takes a while for it to load. That's probably what it is. So let's... Oh, it's a debuff. Or not a... Yeah. Or a uh, cooldown. I see, I see. One, two, three, four, five. You. Should be getting into that next phase here soon. I keep on thinking that it's going to home in on me, and it's not. We can't hide behind the cannon because that would make too much sense. All right. So maybe we don't need to use the cannon. Let's try. Let's try using the crossbow and arrows. We'll get the shields up, because the bot his he's right there. You know what I mean? Or we could use both. Okay, there's one. That's probably what we actually need to do. Here, we'll grab the cannonball. We'll actually load up the cannons because it doesn't look like we can. We need to go back. The cannons will load themselves, but we can just go down different areas. Like once, once we shoot the cannon, we can head down here to these three shields, fire the crossbow, and then kind of see where we go from there. You know what I mean? Ooh, that was close. Let me grab that torch. Okay, we took one hit there. We're fine. And all those shots are going to come down there. The only problem is we're going to have to get, grab the crossbow and arrows like each time. Well, I guess we could just shoot here. Oh, never mind. There we are. Oh, already into that next phase. I'll take it. Yep. Did we actually get hit that time? You're kidding me. Oh. Okay, shield, shield, Hamrick. There we go. Now you're gonna, yeah, now you're gonna fly far away. We get to see how this goes. Make 
Shots coming that way. And you're swooping in, hopefully not for a kill. Maybe. There you go, gotcha. We'll just hang out here until... Yeah. Oh, lots of fire. Right between the eyes. Gotcha. New hit. I just shoot you? Yeah, there you are. That'll work for right now. It's one of those nice prolonged boss fights. Alright, here he comes. I don't know how many more shots we have to do, but take that time. Oh, he's drowning in his blood. That's interesting. Did we win? I'm going to assume that we won. That's another word warrior down. Oh, we saved Baldwin. All hail our hero. Hey, Rick. Who knew? The pen pusher has come to metal or has some metal in him after all. Welcome to the revolution, my friend. What revolution? Hamrick, hey, don't you see? The people are inspired. Now's the time to invade the royal city of Tilton and overthrow King Uldolf. But but Baldwin, the royal soldiers are too powerful. They have armor and weapons. We have pitchforks. It's too late now. Sinisa won't stand by after all the people they killed. What do you mean? Don't you know? The word warriors led the search for Murdoch's killer. The oppressors will always try to silence the oppressed. In their hunt, no lives were spared. They killed people trying to find me? I, I turned myself in. There was no need. Why would they do that? They're corrupt, Hamrick, but we're strong. Our new hero will lead us to a better destiny. Their deaths will not be forgotten. To the leader of the revolution! I... I have to go. Find out what happened back home. Oh, dear. Hamrick, stop fooling around. Jelena, you're alive! Baldwin told me the soldiers had killed people in the town looking for me. I was afraid I'd find you dead. You couldn't find dirt for pig mud by yourself. And I can take care of myself. Jelena, you have to talk to Baldwin. He's gone crazy and wants to lead the villagers into Tilton. Not now. Hamrick, you need to go home. Madeline was there when the guards came looking for you. She's... not well. Oh no. Did we just... Did our mom just get Uncle Owen and Aunt Baroud? Well, I guess we'll find out at the beginning of the next episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.